leveraging the oh 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 <laughs> I don't know how for me to <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Robert. We will ship you to Magdan. Live with him for like a week. Yeah? Miriam. Uh, 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 <laughs> should we take you to Magdan? Yeah. We can take you to the hot air balloon, though. Now, yeah. leveraging the hot air balloon technology <laughs> could boost Ghana's tourism offerings. That's been the discussion after media personalities Israel Ayi and Nanaba Namwa flew up the Afiena Shai planes on day two of his two of the cowbell in the sky projects. The two say they were left, um, you know, oh. surprised mm. and whatever, 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 all the nice things. So let's hear from the two and let's hear from Komladum as well. Two of the second phase of the cowbell in the sky projects were here on a football field inside Afiena, which is not too far away from the Afiena police station. And the team is expected to fly from here and land at a school, which is not too far from here. Gladly, we have the participants who are going to be flying today, our own Israel Laie and GH1 TV's Nanaba Anamwa. We're going to be speaking to them on what their expectations are. And hopefully, once they fly and touch down at the landing site, we'll pick their experiences. And I know for sure that Israel is the bolder of the two, but I can't really say that for Nanaba Anamwa. But let's hear from them directly. Uh, let me get Israel Laie now. Thank you very much, Israel. Hi, Komla. Um, would it be your first time flying yeah, on a hot air balloon? Yeah, yeah, very first time. Okay. I haven't actually come anywhere close to a hot air balloon before. Okay. And what are you, you have butterflies already? No. I have told them that you are the border of the two between you and Anaba. Um, well, yeah, I, I really don't have much of a problem. I actually, I actually don't think that Anaba is that scared. I mean, from engaging with her, she's pretty fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we're good. Okay. And how, did you get the memo that you're supposed to dress up this way to get here and to do the balloon? No, 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 no. I just, I just felt that it's something sporty. And so I should just um, wear something like this. But what I'm actually not sure of is whether I should have worn something on top of this because I'm thinking that going up into the sky is going to get cold but maybe it won't, it won't be that cold okay. or we won't get to that point where it's that that cold okay and in South Africa and Kenya and all these other places this particular technology we are told rakes in a lot of revenue for them in terms of the tourism value of these uh, technologies do you think if this is scaled up and finally brought into the country we're going to be able to you know maximize the potentials we have, especially because of the landscapes that we have around these parts? It's, I should think so. I should think so. But more importantly, I think this, um, what I really love about this project that's going on is the fact that we're giving the students an opportunity to experience some of the things they learn in school. So you hear all about hot air balloons and uh, helium and all that, but now you get a practical feel of all that. And I think it actually does help to get the young ones to better appreciate what the kind of things, yeah, the science, their thoughts in school. And so that's what I really love about this. But yes, I would also believe that if we could do this thing really well, we could bring in some um, some good money. Okay. Yeah. So right inside, you know, in the background, the balloon is being, you know, inflated. The air is being pumped into the balloon. And in a short while, I'm sure the team will be flying from here. But I've been joined by the second participants, the personality on this flight, Nana Banamwa. Let me just gauge her expectations briefly. This must be your first time on the hot air balloon. Yeah. Okay, what are the brief expectations you have? Oh, I want to have fun. I'm here to have a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. Israel told me that you are not scared at all. No, nope, not at all. We shall see when this thing is heated and you get in there. Well, yeah. it adds to the thrill, doesn't it? Yeah, it adds to the thrill. Yeah. A lot of people have said that the potential this hot air balloon offers the country's tourism is huge, especially when you look at South Africa and Kenya, how they've been able to maximize it. Is it time for us to think about expanding this and then making it such a big deal for us? Well, I'm surprised that Cowbell is doing this all by itself. I 
um, I would have thought that the tourism ministry would partner uh, with them to explore the potentials. Uh, you mentioned other countries, and they're making money out of it. And so if we want to make tourism number one in the country, and there is a perfect opportunity, Cowbell is footing all the bills, and um, the tourism ministry is not aligned, then I'm quite disappointed. So you just had the Nana Banama, she's the second uh, participant, the personality who's going to be doing this together with Israel Lai. So as you can see right there in the picture, they are just trying to show them around inside the balloon. At this point, the... Calculation, it took about 48 minutes for the team to land here inside Shy Hills. Let me just speak to the team members. Um, congratulations, Israel. Thank you. We conquered this. Yeah, 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 yeah. did it. So it now... Peasy. It was easy peasy. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. easy peasy. I'll, I'll get the accounts of the pilot who give me a fair, you know, a balanced detail of what happened. So, generally, what did you see up there? It was, it was, it was a great view. Uh, we saw a whole lot of the Accra planes like nobody has ever seen it before. I mean, because this is the first time we're having the hotel balloon go over the side. So, we, and we captured some great images which we're going to share, but it was a great view and we also saw the sunrise again like nobody has ever seen it before so we, we had some really great moments up there and then there were all these quarry sites uh, the shy hills you can see them digging up you know the earth and trying to take out the rocks which will be used for construction but the concern is that or well, my concern is that we're having all of these craters being uh, dug up and I don't know what plan there is to fill them up eventually. <laughs> yeah. Your experience? Oh, amazing. And the scene up there is such a picturesque. It's breathtakingly gorgeous. I've had so much fun. For myself here, Komladum. Thank you very much for watching. Now, that's beautiful. Who wants to be on beautiful the on site? Learn. Who wants to fly that? Well, mm. not me. Do you have a hat for it? Why do you have a fear of heights? No, I don't have fear um, of heights. No, I don't but think I do. You know, just a paya. <laughs> that sounds like not a fear. Fie fie <laughs> hey, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> uh -huh. It doesn't work that way. We never plant to the ground. But gonna... you know, this is Africa. Uh, no. <laughs> Next, we have a shrine. Next, we have a church. Next, we have this thing. Most. It's a lot of things called spirits. That's spirits right. are walking around the spirit, that's spirit, spirit. That's, that's if, if, so if spirit, a spirit, 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 spirit. If you were a spirit, would you stay in Africa? Yeah, what did you mean? If you were a spirit, would you stay in Africa? I would have been in Australia. In this economy, this country. Please. You people believe in something. There's no, there's no well, train, no tube, so just no train, no tube. Since independent, we have been suffering. Huh? <laughs> so why would you stay here if you were spirit? <laughs> Australia, I tell you, Australia Keep or Canada. Keep following Israel Lai, uh, and I will not be, just listen, be, be able to be, 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 be. get the opportunity to be on that hot air balloon. Uh, you know, right after they touch down, they visit a school. So watch out for the institution they're visiting this morning. Uh, Komla Adum, our colleague with the team, will bring us details of what happens yeah, afterwards. and and this morning and this one they are chim the chim the chim was senior, um, right? senior okay. high right. technical yeah. school as well. Yeah. There's a whole technology to this hot air balloon, yeah, and they're taking the opportunity to let young people also appreciate this mm. technology. They've got a what pilot with over that? twenty uh, years experience. I, I'm not sure, Helium or but, uh, gas, but, but but it's not very expensive technology, mm. and it's been around for decades. Yeah, true. So I like the suggestion that Naba made that we ought to look at this for our tourism industry. Mm. You know, Ghana looks beautiful from the, the air. It mm. looks beautiful from this from above. Wait, 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 wait. So which above? Kujo, which Kujo, above are you talking Kujo, about? Kujo, Kujo, Kujo. Mm. If we want if to introduce this technology, the, the, the tender Africa, alone is going to be inflated, please. Let's not. If, as long as it will make money, 
That's what matters, right? If it's if it's a viable, uh, you know, venture, then people should so look into it. So we're strategic about the roots. Yeah. About roots. If we if we're going to. Uh, no, but but I I, I think that a view like of that. a place usually when you I, go I'm up. I'm actually that trying to it's, encourage it's the uh, private sector. I don't care whether government pays mm. attention or not. But I'm trying to encourage the private sector. You know, um, if you have the money. Invest. Yeah. Bring the technology. It's not expensive. Bring it. Get a clearance from aviation <laughs> or whatever. Get yourself a flight plan and start flying mm. people around to see yeah. the beauty it of our It should be country. over some of the tourism sites. That yeah. will be beautiful. Mm. I don't think the entire place. But even if you fly over oh, Ashaima, it's not bad. It looks good. It looks, it, it looks, Ashaima, it Nima, Sukura, Fadama. Mm. Imagine if, if your husband Zongo. on your birthday takes you on a... Oh, that you know, would be, that would be so romantic. Even if, you are, even if you are flying over Bawi, you will still... <laughs> exactly. You will still, 